Hey guys, Tech Made Easy. Thanks so much for clicking on our video. Hey, uh, we're doing a late breaking news video, but uh, before I jump into the video, I hope you know that uh, we did lose our Brooklyn, our sweet girl there. She uh, recently passed away and she's in heaven. And that's all I'll say because now I'm going to go into what we're talking about today. So you clicked on the image. And you already know, Ego's got a new 28-inch two-stage snowblower coming out. And guess what? They have a new 24-inch as well. Now, that's called the XP. I'll have a little bit of information on that as well. But I'm going to start off going over what we know so far. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. So, if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. All right, so here is the image we're going to go over together. And what do we know so far? 28-inch clearing path. 21 inch clearing height so it is a little higher and definitely a whole lot wider 60 foot throwing distance all right so now they're saying that this thing is going to throw snow even further than the 24 inch it's got upgraded skids it's got an upgraded chute that's actually powered okay that's going to be pretty cool and so it's not just a manual you know by hand and uh, larger, it's going to throw further, and it's not going to have any freezing issues, okay? We did a video recently to kind of make sure that you guys, if you're going out and buying, you know, obviously one of the previous 24-inch uh, models, that you got the right one. You didn't get the wrong one. I'll put the video in the description on that. If you want to see that video, just go to the description. Now, this chute rotates uh, 200 degrees. Uh, um, they did do some LED light changes. It's got some steering assist now via the joystick trigger. So that's interesting. We'll, we'll have to figure out what that means. And guess what? It's got heated grips now. And their statement is that they can clear a 32-car driveway with 8 inches of snow on a single charge with two 12-amp-hour batteries. Now, let's look at how this compares to Gen 1. All right, so we're going to look at Gen 1 versus Gen 2 and see how they compare. We're going to start off with some visuals. The first one, as you can see, definitely looks beefier, right? I mean, you know, definitely wider and higher, but looks like a beefier machine, and I didn't think that was even possible. Now, look at the chute. Obviously, the chute is much larger, and it is, uh, you know, there's some different mechanics there. And I think they're just trying to prevent, you know, you know, basically those freezing issues. All right. Now look at the joystick and the light layout. That looks like a change there. Definitely a new joystick. All right. And the light layout is different. And look at this here. You've got a skid upgrade. So these are different skids. Now they're supposed to be made of a different material. I don't think they're steel. But I do believe the material is different, and I think we'll learn more about that. And of course, you know, four inch wider clearing and one inch higher in height. All right. Now let's go ahead and bring up a slide and just go over some meat and potatoes. All right. So the 2400 series. Uh, you know, 2405, etc. right? So you already know the pricing on that. Now, this is not confirmed, but the SNT 2807 will be a kit that will be $2199. Think about that. That's a lot of money with two 12 amp hour batteries. Again, 28 inches though, right? So, you know, you're going to be able to clear more faster. Now, the motors on these guys are brushless. All right, reverse gear is uh, standard. 
Now in the 2400 series, it was about 0 0.9 miles per hour. I don't know the speed yet on the new model here on the right. Push button start is standard on both of these. Clearing width on the original Gen 1 is 24 inches, and now the new model 28 inches. Clearing height 20 inches on the original Gen 1, and now 21 inches on the new model. Throwing distance, 50 feet on the original model, now 60 feet on the newer model. Shoot, the shoot is manual, right, on the original model, Gen 1, 200 degrees. And on the new model, it's it's electronic. So it's, it's not just going to, you know, have a 200 degree angle, but it's also electronic. We'll have to figure that out. Wow. The handle height is adjustable for both of these models, and it should be for the new one. I put new, need to confirm there, but... Um, Handle grips, non-heated on Gen 1, and now heated on Gen 2. LED lights um, on both, but supposedly improved on the newer model. Again, more details to come. Rear wheels are 15-inch on Gen 1, and no details on that, but it, it should be 15-inch on Gen 2. The snow remover tool, removal tool is included on both. The weather rating on Gen 1 is IPX4, and I don't have the information on Gen 2 yet on that. I would think it'd be the same. Now, the 8 inches of snow clearing example on Gen 1 is an 18-car driveway, um, you know, on, on a single charge with two 7.5 amp hours. And now, obviously, this one here, a 32-car driveway with 8 inches of snow and single charge uh, two 12 amp hour batteries. The weight on the Gen 1 was 150 pounds, and there's no weight uh, available right now on this new model. It's definitely going to be heavier. The warranty, five year on the tool on the 2400, you know, Gen 1 series, and uh, should be a five year warranty also on the Gen 2. And I believe if you register the batteries on the Gen 2, you should be able to get five year as well. All right. I know if you don't register the batteries, you end up getting a three year. So here it is, as you could see on their website, there's a 24 inch XP coming out. SNT, SNT 2416. And, um, you know, we don't know much, right? What's changing? So obviously the name change, uh, it'll have heated grips. It'll possibly have an electronic trigger steering. We're not confirmed on that yet. That kit will come with two 10 amp hour batteries, but they did say that, you know, obviously it's stated to clear a 24 uh, car driveway with eight inches of snow. I guess that's just because of the upgraded batteries, right? That's really what that is. Um, the skid seems the same. A slight design change, as you could see up where the joystick is and the lights. And a 24 inch clearing width and a 20 inch height is the same. So guys, I hope that information helps. You know, we're always trying to stay on top of what's going on. So take a moment, give us a thumbs up. We really helps the channel, as you guys all know. Brooklyn, she's going to rest in peace in heaven. She's been a blessing on the channel. It, it's just so hard right now to wake up every day and not have her here with me. Um, hey, if you're new to the channel, I hope you take a moment and subscribe. We'd love to have you as a family member on the channel. We, we are a small channel. I still like, you know, chatting and answering most questions I possibly can. Okay. And, uh, take a moment if you could follow us on social media. All right. We just got on threads as well. And then check out our new Tesla channel up there. You know, we got our Tesla, we've been driving, we've been learning, we've been doing uh, accessory reviews, and we are working on coming up with videos comparing, you know, how different is it driving a gas car and then actually using a Tesla, an electronic vehicle? You know, what are the changes that you need to be aware of? That's coming. All right, guys, but have a wonderful day and thank you so much.